Hey guys, it's Ben here, and the latest transfer rumour that we're going to be looking at today is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to Liverpool. So it did look like he was on his way to PSG, but that deal seems to have fallen through, or at least been delayed. It had all kind of gone quiet on that front, but today, Le Parisien, uh, a French publication, have claimed that Liverpool have thrown their hat into the ring to sign the Gabon forward. Now we've seen Liverpool be linked with Mbappe this summer, another marquee striker who would command a massive, massive fee. Aubameyang's asking price is reportedly 70 million euros, so significantly less than Mbappe, but he is 28 years old, 10 years older than the French striker. Now Aubameyang, of course, has worked under Jurgen Klopp before, and this could be key and whether Liverpool can actually seduce the Russian Dortmund striker to Anfield. Now Klopp signed Aubameyang from St Etienne in 2013 and they worked together for two years in the 13-14 season. Aubameyang scored 16 goals in 48 games and the following season he improved dramatically, he scored 25 and 46. And he spoke well of Klopp ever since. Now is there anything in this story or is it just Le Parisian trying to stir things up, trying to speed up the PSG deal? We see it so often with agents and stuff, you never know. You've got to be cynical about these things. But if indeed Liverpool are in the market for a top-class striker who's killing it in Europe at the moment, then Aubameyang, just like Mbappe, is obviously in that conversation. He had a goal a game ratio last season in the Bundesliga with 31 goals in 31 games. That's just in the league. He scored 43 goals in total last season for club and country. And he would, of course, fit right in at Liverpool. He's got bags of pace. You know, I don't think he'd take any time to adapt to the Premier League. I think he'd be straight in there. I think he pretty much guarantees you 20 plus goals. And if you can get Salah in, you've got Coutinho, Mane, Firmino, you know, Sturridge in reserve. If you can get a Bamiang on top of that, that strike force can compete with absolutely any across Europe. This definitely does feel like the summer that he will make his move. PSG, of course, would be a great fit for him. They can obviously afford his wages and, and the huge fee. You also got Manchester United and Real Madrid, who I'm sure will be interested. But you cannot underestimate the club factor. But it's interesting that the article only sites Liverpool as a club that would be interested. Normally when you see agents wanting these stories to get out, they'll drop a few names. You'll see the Man United, the Arsenal's, the Real Madrid's or whoever. But they've just got Liverpool in there now. I'm not sure if that's just because they know Aubameyang and Klopp's relationship and they thought that one might be a bit more believable. Or there might be some genuine interest. I mean, how else would we know about any Liverpool transfer stories? I mean, the Merseyside journalists aren't giving us anything at the moment. And I think we all know why that is. Because they can't get anything. Or they've been told to keep their mouths shut, which is fine. But maybe this one does have some substance to it. And look, if you're asking me, do I think this deal will happen? No, I don't. But Liverpool should be in for these players, especially with Jurgen Klopp at the helm. They should be targeting the absolute best players in Europe, especially ones that have played under Klopp. There's no excuse not to be. 70 million euros for Aubameyang, is that a good price tag? Do you know what? I'd say yes. That's what we would have paid for Van Dijk. That's what we still may pay for Van Dijk. You're looking at maybe double that for Kylian Mbappe, who, okay, his ceiling might be higher, considering he's only 18, but I feel like he might be less of a guarantee as far as goals are concerned than Aubameyang, especially if he was to come in straight away and fire in all cylinders. But this one, probably has more legs than Mbappe just because the fee is significantly lower even at 70 million euros it's significantly lower you've got the clock factor you've got the fact that he's 28 and there are less clubs probably in for him than there are Mbappe and don't forget Aubameyang played at that 4-3 game at Anfield in the Europa League a couple of seasons ago. He'll know what that atmosphere is like at Anfield, especially on European nights. Players do want to be part of that. Players do want to be part of those special atmospheres, and there will be plenty of those in the Champions League next season at Anfield. I can see exactly why someone of his ilk would want to play for the Reds. But of course, let's not get too excited. I mean, PSG, of course, are the favourites. They had the deal already wrapped up not so long ago, so I imagine it's only a matter of time for them. But if that does fall through, then we should be there to pounce. Because the fact that everyone thought he was about to join PSG, everyone sort of forgot about Aubameyang. So everyone started targeting Morata, Lukaku, Lacazette and Bat. So Aubameyang's kind of become a forgotten man in that regard. So if Morata goes to United, Lukaku to Chelsea, and Bat to whoever, Real Madrid maybe. And for example, Lacazette to Arsenal. But Liverpool might have the free runner of Emyang should he not move to PSG. It's finally a bit of news, finally some interesting news anyway, after a week of Liverpool about to agree a deal for Salah, no news on Van Dijk. And that's not a complaint, but it just feels like it's been the slowest news week in Liverpool history, so it's great to finally have something to talk about. And Aubameyang is an exciting one, so interesting to see where this one goes. If you push me for a prediction, I'd say he will still end up in Paris. But these stories and getting hopes up is what the transfer window is all about. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff, and leave a comment with where you think Aubameyang will end up this summer. Will it be PSG? Could it be Liverpool? Is there any chance that he would fancy it at Liverpool? And is there any chance Liverpool would pay those huge wages and that big price tag for a 28-year-old? Drop a like for me and share the video and follow my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.